Let's talk about some of the reasons that you probably should not cruise right now. So It's Haley with HaleyTheFlare.com. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and follow me over here on social media, bringing you the latest, greatest, and travel tips from cruising to a hotels to pretty much all over the world. There's no in between here. Let's talk about some of the reasons that you probably should not cruise right now. So if you, if any of these reasons resonate with you, um, you might want to hold off for a little bit. First things first, we're gonna go back to dining. If you want specialty dining and that is very important to your cruise, you might need to hold off or you just need to realize that you're going to need to be flexible. For example, I didn't book a whole lot of dining beforehand. It's very hard because I don't know what my group's doing or what my day ends up being and I didn't book a whole lot ahead and there weren't, for example, any reservation for chops like I mentioned in the dining video right here. Could I have gone to the Diamond Concierge and gotten, and gotten into chops? Yes. Wasn't big on my list, but just for an example. Um, and because of the reduced staffing as well, dinners are also taking a long time. So just keep that in mind. Number two, if you don't like testing and no swabs, you're definitely gonna have to wait for a little bit. So we ended up finding out about an antigen test that we had to do a couple days before on embarkation day. And then you had to sign up for your second antigen test either day six or seven, or no, it was five or six, I think. But you will get swabbed again. It is an antigen test, so it's not like the brain tickle, but you know, be aware of that. If that's something you're not wanting to do, you know, don't give the company, the crew a hard time. You want to cruise right now that's what you have to do number three if you are solo and you are truly coming on board not knowing a soul it's gonna be a little bit more difficult while there are modified activities um, you know due to the reduced capacity and reduced activities it's a little harder to socialize even though I was with a group I was solo this trip so you know I dined by myself a few times which was fine but I think if I didn't know quite a few people on board, it would have been a little bit more difficult with the reduced capacity. So that's something to think about. Number four, if you are a nightclub person, you might want to hold off the club situation on board while it's there. We're talking maybe 15 people would show up, you know, how do I word this? <laughs> In some clubs, we could dance together, like in the Imperial Lounge here on Adventure of the Seas, and then other times we were told we had to stay in place. It just is not a normal clubbing dancing scene, so if that's important to you, you may not want to sell. And really, the last part that I want to talk about is, <laughs> this is going to be a little, like, touchy-touchy, but some of the guidelines just don't make sense. If you are going to complain about the spacing in the theater, the inconsistency in the clubs, like we just mentioned with the dancing, um, you're gonna be in for a long cruise. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be a little tough because there is a lot of inconsistency in measures across the ship. I think overall, Royal did well, the staff did well, the staff did a great job keeping up with things. But, um, <laughs> There's just a lot of inconsistency, a lot of security theater wiping down. So uh, if you are not flexible with that, just kind of rolling with the punches, that's not something wrong. Everybody's entitled to their cruise vacation the way that they want it. You just might want to hold off. I know that some of these are kind of simple, but I want you guys to be aware there are just a lot of little hiccups, but I still had a fantastic cruise vacation. 
you know, there were some people I think that it affected a little bit more. Some people were a little more disappointed. I personally was just happy to be back on a ship. I was so happy to see the crew and just be with my friends and it felt the most normal <laughs> thing in the last year and a half. So I hope you guys get to sail or get to travel somewhere if you're not a cruiser. If you have questions, please leave them below. There's going to be more content coming out and I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you so much. Don't forget to follow and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.